My mornings are about my home and my children. There's lots of breastfeeding, snuggles, and jumping on the bed. <laughs> the house is just waking up to the noises of our family of six, and I squeeze in putting the dishes away from the night before in the in-between moments. I haven't had a shower or brushed my hair, but I know time for myself will come when it comes. This morning, Scout really wanted to play a board game, so my way to help her be patient until board game time was having her time me to see how fast I could put the dishes away. If I went fast enough, we might have time for two rounds of Hoot Owl Hoot. Okay, time me now, Scout. Ready? Yeah. Go. I do. Meanwhile, Grandma is visiting and baking brownies, and the other kids want to join in on the board game fun. Yes, so I'll have a play. Okay, come over there. I, oh, I, don't I got three or two sons. Oh, come on. Yeah. I got like two sons. Look at my arm is swollen from my bee sting. Oh, okay. Look at it. Do you feel it? See it? I got my first bee sting yesterday. Pretty impressive, I think, my first bee sting in 34 years. I got two sons, too. Hey, where's Sandy? Where is he? <laughs> I hear them giggling. You hear him giggling? I see him, Ed. There he is. What are you doing in there? We're so close. Oh, I got some on me, too. Oh, 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 my. oh that kid's almost in. <gasps> Another one. Yeah. On purple, you gotta wait till the next one to get in the nest. Where's eyes? Daddy's eyes? Where's daddy's nose? <laughs> Where's my nose? Huh? Head? Yeah? Head. Where's my nose? Where's my nose? That's my mouth. Where's my nose? Yep. What's that? Feet? Foot? Can you say foot? Toe. Toes. Where's your nose? Nose. Nose, yeah. Nice. Where's your hair? Do bingo for Scouty, papaya for Mommy. Oh, Mom, we can all share some. That's true. Let's do it. Yes. Papaya. That, that's on me. Do you hear the roosters? It's getting colder in the mornings this time of year, so I make some blue lotus tea, the flower of intuition from Anima Mundi. And I want to say thank you to Anima Mundi for sponsoring today's video. Anima Mundi Apothecary is composed of organic, wildcrafted, and ethically grown botanicals, and they do not disappoint with their eco-friendly packaging with recyclable glass and biodegradable bags. They have sustainably grown to contain over 200 different herbs from around the world with zero fillers, binders, or flow agents. 
They're family owned and operated, including a master herbalist from Costa Rica, and everything is made in the U.S. using certified organic herbs and wild and sustainably harvested plants in a vegan and gluten-free kitchen. I am loving the Blue Lotus tea in the morning. Their golden moon milk and a morning coconut milk latte is divine, and the lion's mane powder blended into smoothies or shakes is so delicious. Their project educates and supports true fair trade practices beyond organic farming, education, and small farmers to create remedies that benefit people from all walks of life. Get 15% off site-wide using the code ELLEN15 at checkout, linked below to check it out. By this time the kids are starting homeschool with dad and I'm able to hop in the shower and get dressed. And we're on our way with our day. So our beets are ready to be picked. Andrew's in the garden and he realized that they were like popping out and ready to be picked. And they grew so fast. How long did that take? About two months, eight weeks or so. Look how gorgeous. Well, it's turned out pretty good. These turned out so perfect. This is our first time growing beets. Good job, Ange. They like this. Hug, hug, give me a hug. Yeah, good. Daddy get beets? Daddy get beets? Is it called Can you say beets? Beets. These beet greens are so beautiful. We're gonna put these in smoothies for my breakfast. And then we'll eat these with dinner probably tonight. I love preparing food from our garden. After boiling and peeling the beets, I thinly sliced them and placed in a baking dish. Then I topped them with a homemade balsamic glaze and some almond feta too. I'll put the recipe I threw together below if you'd like to make this as a side dish for your next family dinner. I'm gonna cooking beets from the garden. I just boiled and now I'm gonna bake them. All right, so I boiled the beets and then took off the skin, the peels, and I'm gonna do like a balsamic glaze, which is just balsamic vinegar and maple syrup. And I'm just gonna like broil them for a couple minutes with the glaze. Ooh, the glaze turned out so good. But it thickens really quickly if you don't use it while it's hot or warm. And this is like an almond feta. I think this is gonna be super yummy. This is gonna be yummy. And then to finish it, after I bake it for just a few minutes, I'm gonna top it with some basil from the garden. Love you, Mom. I love you. Thankful for all the mothers out there. Yes. And fathers. Yes. Mothers and fathers. Yes. Oh, Mom, you look good. Look at that <laughs> hair. <laughs> after I had children, it made me realize how much I appreciate my mother and all the hard work that they do. And I was so, I, I'm so glad that my girls love being a mom. Both of love them. Love being a mom. It's yeah. the best thing ever. So was it crazy raising both me and Hannah so close in age? It definitely was. <laughs> it was a challenge having to stagger naps and getting very little time. I would um, keep Hannah awake as long as possible. So the naps, I'd get one hour when you're both asleep and I would run to the bed, turn off the phone and sit with my book. That was oh. my one hour. <laughs> I feel like as kids, we just have no idea right. all the work and love that your parent or parents put into your daily life. Right, as children, you do not know. It, it seems yeah. you're just being a child. Yeah. Which is what they're supposed to be doing. Yeah. But it wasn't until I got older that I realized Wow, I so appreciate my mom oh. and my dad, of course. Yeah. Thankful for all the moms yeah. and dads out there. And it's yeah. like, it's a period of time where you're not getting as much time for yourself and self care mm -hmm. and things like that. But like, then you're gonna miss it when they're older. Yeah, yeah. But, but you say you, love all the, you loved all the stages. I loved all the stages. And I think being a mom, being a parent makes us better people. We stretch and grow and learn to um, 
adapt for someone else, yeah, not just to put, ourself. To put others before yourself. Yeah, for sure. Yeah. And there's other ways to do that, like, even if you're not a parent, but it is really a growing journey, mm -hmm. being a parent, for sure. Well, I love you. Thanks no. for being here. Thanks. It's always so nice to have my mom here cooking in the kitchen and alleviating <laughs> some of the duties. Uh -huh. It makes it really nice. Yeah. Parents, mothers, fathers, like you are amazing. Keep doing everything you're doing for your children because it is so worth it. Mm -hmm. What is? Mom, I love beets. I love beets too. Like that beet. Are you baking them or something? I, I baked them for like five minutes just after I put the glaze on. It's not a dessert. I'm like, don't touch the pan while I touch the pan. what time it is. 3.10. Can I have a bite? Ooh. Oh, that's good. Six, Are the beets hot? Three, no, perfect. Six, oh, I really like that. It turned out so yummy. Of course, it's even better with that. Uh-oh. Looks smelly. Mm-hmm. Here it goes. We help. You like it, Elva? I like it. Yeah, oh, I just don't like the bite. Going out mm. and have this for mm. 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 oh, Sorry. It's going to stain on the cutting. Oh, no. Does it stain on your hand? Mm. My face is probably really good. If I could leave you with anything today, it would be this. The work you do as a parent will not be fruitless. The time and love and energy you put into your children, sometimes at the expense of your own self-care, will reap great rewards. The incredible joys you feel while playing and laughing with your children will be the memories you remember forever. As a kid, I had no idea how much work my mom and dad put into raising us. We were just busy in our own little world and, like my mom said, just busy being kids. I never realized the times I nonstop argued with my sister that my mom felt drained and stretched like no other. And I never truly understood just how much my mom and dad loved me until I became a parent myself. Whoever raised you, whether that was a mother or father or grandparents or foster parent, etc., maybe give them a call today and tell them how much you love them. And if your childhood was filled with circumstances where you were not shown the love you deserved, I want to give you a big virtual hug today. And I hope the wounds that were inflicted onto your past can be redeemed for your future, ending the trauma cycle in its tracks. Oh, that's wrong. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next video.